fucked up, and y'all will get it. Trust me. Sure. But yeah, bro. Osiris gave a drop. Osiris gave a drop. I don't know if I can believe that. I mean, he is from Jacksonville, right? He from Jacksonville. But I don't. I I can't say for. I can't tell you that I I feel like him and Fully are cool enough to do something like that. I can't say that. Let me go see. Let Let's react to what Fulio had to say first, and then we're gonna react to Osiris. And I'm gonna tell you whose side I think because all I see is Osiris gave a drop. Osiris gave a drop. Fully, he gave a drop on Young Boy for real. Okay, let's let's hear what Bro had to say because I know it had a security guard came out who was talking about uh, the Young Boy situation, saying that he wasn't on the clock. So he wasn't protecting young boys. That's that weak ass shit boost we talk about. That's that shit boost we talk about. That's the shit boost we talk about. Man, I don't even know if I believe, bro, man. That nigga that nigga look like he could be fully old people. Nah, he it was true. He he was being honest. He said he got a he let's go. Like you wanna start with that? Nah, fuck that nigga. All right, so let's, but I get I guess you can't for the people's sake though. Facts. Okay, so bro basically saying that he got a family to go back to. He not worrying about all that little kid because he looking at NBA young boy them as a little kid. Like he not worrying about none of that little kid stuff that they got going on. Uh he said he wasn't on the clock, so he just got it there, he got him over, he went there for yada yada yada. Whenever he saw Fulio, whenever they came. So once that clip came out of bro talking about that, uh, Julio went on live and he, I guess, confirmed what happened. That's why, bro, they, jobs, bro, jobs need to be given to people with a passion for it, bro. I don't care what job it is. Even if you mopping the floor, nigga, you like cleaning. Like, nigga said he wanted to get back home to his family. Like, nigga, you don't think about that. That means you think about that every night, even on the on the clock. You saying that even on the clock? This, you don't need to be doing this, bro. And then, nigga, you don't think young boy or a Yo. rapper? You don't think a rapper period would like just look out for you just because you didn't look, you know, back though and looked out for them knowing you wasn't being paid for it at the moment? How you say your name? Maisha. Maisha. Maisha, what's good? Well, damn. Man, who was freaking your message? Oh, she she took her message back. How you feel? Let's see what we'll make you make sure you subscribe, babe. Hit that like button. We appreciate the comment, though. Definitely. The shit eaters, man. He, he was from little shit eaters in Jacksonville. And guess who else? Like, 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 new types who sent us to, like, the room number. <laughs> Osiris. <laughs> Osiris, hell, bro. Osiris said one of my dogs the room numbers. He like, man, this room number one. I'm like, no, Osiris, what the fuck, shit, yo, bro? He said the room number. He said one of my dogs the room number and the little holes up there too. So we already know the little holes. So we hop on the elevator. We going up. As as y'all see, he was laughing. You know, man, are you serious? Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't believe nothing a nigga from Shark Tail tell me. Where? Shark Tail. <laughs> they said that nigga look like the jellyfishes from Shark Tail. Niggas tell him. This is telling, nigga. You told you, you just blood told. Butter tell on you. You got niggas shooting up houses, hitting innocents. 
You just told on a nigga, fam. Y'all niggas hitting niggas' mamas. <laughs> it's like a lose lose in the streets right now. All right, think about it. Think about this. You beefing, you beefing with the dude, right? You beefing with a dude, right? He notorious for killing shit. Like, he got bodies. Like, he got hats. Like, 10 plus counting, like, off his toes. He off his hands and his toes. But this same nigga, he'll tell on you, get you a life sentence, get you a death penalty. I mean, and and this is why I be saying, like, the fans start. Like, you fans, y'all don't know y'all start a lot of shit. Like, he made a snippet, right? And he said, like, what you on, Fulio? He said, matter of fact, this way y'all don't think y'all. I'm capping. Right, man, what's up? What, what you want to get? Yeah, we see what room we go pull up that bit. We like, damn, how the fuck we gonna find out what room is like? Like, what room, young boy? In? It turned not. Nah, he was, huh? He was a little hope. Y'all won't believe who all this man with. <laughs> Y'all won't believe this shit because it's so funny how we got this man room number. I was figuring out what room in. He was some little shit eaters, man. He, he was some little shit eaters to Jacksonville. And guess who else? Like, like, like new type shit. Who sent us to like the room number? <laughs> Osiris. <laughs> Osiris. Hey, yo, bro. Osiris sent one of my dogs the room number. He like, man, this the room young boy. And I'm like, no, oh, Osiris, what the fuck? Shit. Oh, bro. He said, the room number. He said, what about the dogs? The room number and the little holes up there, too. So we already know the little holes. So we hop on the elevator. We going up. As we going up, we get now we start. We trying to look for the room and shit. We stop in front of the elevators. As them bitches open it back up, it was the nigga OG33. It was the nigga OG33 and like two other niggas. They stopped, they didn't get out. So we walk into the room, we knock on that bit, boom, boom, boom. He ain't come out. So as three don't walk back down the hallway, they end up coming out. We get in the argument. That was in the video. Y'all see the video. He like, man. All right, that's what he had to say. What Osiris have to say? Damn. For real, Osiris? Let me see. Margarita, a nigga wanna come up here and cap. Sent us to like the room number. <laughs> a nigga wanna come up here and cap and get clickbaits. Man, leave me the f that nigga. You know damn well I ain't got nothing to do with that. Stand on your own. You a man, bro. Stand on your own. I'm not with none of that, bro. They ain't no, they ain't no real nigga shit. Why the hell you even talking like that on the internet? Like, nigga, like, what you got going on? Like, what you smoking, dope? Like, nigga, like, get on, bro. Like, get me out of that situation, bro. I don't get a nigga's beast. I never have beef with niggas. I don't beef. Stand in your own lane, bro, and relax. Like, get me out of that shit, bro. You got people damn me and talking to me like I... Like, nigga, I don't, I don't do none of that. I don't involve myself with that shit, nigga. Like, come on, bro. You, you violent. He was some little shit eaters, man. Okay. Damn, what the fuck? Why should not charge? Alright. So I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest, bro. I think Fulio is being on, honest, but I, I can say he probably just pushing it a little too big. I probably, I think niggas probably just say, probably just, he probably, or Cyrus did probably give one of his friends, like he said, probably gave one of his friends that fuck with Fulio the address saying where NBA young boy at. Because he probably thought he would just be on some fan shit and just probably see NBA Young Boy, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing that he probably that he is with Fulio. And I think Fulio then went there 
to go be on some fan shit too. But when they seen Young Boy, they also wanted to, you know, uh, I guess wanted to act hard because when young, you know, when Young Boy, as a lot of people say, when they see him, he, uh, I wouldn't say be tweaked out, but they say he be he be, he be driven sometimes. I get what you're saying. So it could it could be true. That he, but th- then again, I just think he didn't have no ill intention. Yeah, he though. didn't have those type of intentions. Yeah. Or he was he it was true, but he was unaware. That facts, he, facts, yeah. Yeah. He, he probably just thought, okay, yeah, nigga, I seen young boy, or maybe this girl that I know, she said she with young boy and she said she over here, or maybe, oh, you know, like he said, the bitch they know was there. So, I, 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 Osiris probably invited the bitch. The bitch gave him the address type shit. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe yeah. Osiris was going fuck with young boy. Nigga don't want to tell the real. He just want to, you know, you know what he doing. He telling the truth, but not telling. Exactly. Yeah. And Osiris like, why are you putting this on the internet, bro? This is some rat shit. Mm-hmm. This is t- this. Nah, this ain't snitching. This telling. Like he said, he said niggas telling. You're telling, right? This is telling right here. I'm saying for no reason. Want to get content? You want to give? You want to give us content, huh? Yeah, well, we don't talk about you. We don't talk about your music for sure. It's just this. I'm talking. The only time I didn't hear people talk about him was the dissing. You gotta be dissing. You gotta be dissing somebody in your song. For sure. You gotta be dropping 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 some leakers or something. Yeah, you gotta be the last time before this it was the uh young and age paperwork shit. Yep. Where's the music? Yeah, man. Are you a rapper or a content creator? Nigga, at least put this shit on YouTube. Get off live. Get off Instagram live, nigga. Get for real with this shit. Stop half-assing. You got one foot in, one foot out. You want to be a rapper slash YouTube blogger. Fuck out of here, man. Too much content. People want to know when you're gonna get another J Bo East episode out there, man. J Bo East episode should be this weekend. Well, this week for sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. I'm gonna do a J Bo East. And I'm trying to. I'm also trying to, I'll give y'all some type of insight. I'm trying to do like where I go and try to do different jobs every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like not every day. Yeah, like I'm going to try to be a plumber or, you know what I'm saying? Just try to get into maybe I can just, maybe a, uh, I can get. What about? No, like, listen, 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 like, okay, so, you know how I have a lot of people who, who, like, do their own stuff, they cut grass, they yeah. food and stuff like that, they, they do plumbing, that, but they got their own business, and they work, if they, if there's a company who down to do that, but also, at the same time, you are getting, you're getting, uh, exposure, well, I'm getting some content, and I'm learning, and I'm seeing what they what they're doing, and we'll have a good time doing that. So, but yeah, uh, let me let me hear your opinion, Arthur. I think that'd be dope. But I'm I'm asking, is it like 
Well, I guess you kind of answered it, but I was asking like, was it like, is it like volunteer work type shit? Nah, nah I would. Yeah, it's volunteer. I mean, all we what we doing is basically so I'll just be the uh the day in the life of a Jabo as a McDonald's worker. Right? Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Uh, pushing carts, uh, making pizza. Uh, you should try to see if the food bank will let you do some shit like that. Yeah, stuff like that for sure. Uh, all type of stuff, bro. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, uh, I wanna, I want, I wanna expand for sure. I'm trying to expand and come up with some different ideas for everybody. I think the plumbing one would be funny though, for sure. Oh yeah, some plumbing shit. So, if I get into fast food, that would be dope. But yeah, I gotta just oh roofing. Let's say I can do some roofing stuff. Trying to get on the roof, that'll be scary. In the in the studio with a you know an engineer. Facts. That'd be hard. Beat, yeah. Get in there with like demos and man, that'll be hard, bro. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to come up, trying to come up with some idea like that. But yeah, right now we still trying to we we work. We gonna get a we gonna get a food a food vlog in. For sure. For sure. For sure. I got a place there. I was gonna do, and that's what I should say. I was gonna do Trail Burger yesterday, bro. I was, I was actually two seconds, maybe I would say three minutes from from trying to. It would have been the J Bo Eats yesterday. Damn. At the Texas game. Oh, at the game? They got it at the game. They got, they got Trail Burger. They got Trail Burger at the stadium. That's crazy. They got Trail Burger at the stadium, bro. That's very good. You know, how long, you know how long me and Trill waited in line? And said, fuck it. For 40 minutes. No, I wasn't getting no Trill burger. Like, I, oh. I wasn't getting no. But then, like, when we, had, when we was at the Witch Call, I'm like, damn, I, should, I, should, I was getting Trill burger. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, uh, I said, fuck it. I ain't getting no Trill burger. I'm talking about these people in there. Let me get five Trill burgers, eight Trill burgers. Um, what? I'm like, man, everybody we are trying to get just getting trail burgers. I'm like, come on, bro. Let me get some chicken, some chicken tenders or something. And let me go sit down. The whole what? First quarter and like maybe eight minutes into the second quarter. Nigga, I'm in line waiting for chicken strips. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, next subject, next subject, man. I don't, I don't believe. Uh, okay, Cyrus gave a drop. I don't believe he gave a drop. I think yeah. he had. Yeah, I ain't gonna say that. Because giving a drop, I, I mean, it, it gotta have. You gotta have some bad intentions. Sure. All right. Jack boy, a stalker. Oh man, sink that. I ain't look into it though. What happened, bro? Please uh, tell the people what happened. Okay. okay. I'm about to right now. They probably got a news article on 